Hey, welcome back. In this uh, video, what we are uh, going to do is to add the uh, image uh, into our uh, posts and uh, let's get to it. So uh, what we are uh, going to do is to use a tool called uh, Intervention uh, Image. You can go into image.intervention.io or basically write uh, in Google uh, interv Laravel Intervention and you will get uh, this page. We will uh, go ahead and uh, install it right now. Let's open up a command line, see it into our blog. And uh, in here, let's see what, uh, what we need to do. Read the installation guide. And okay, we have our, let's use, uh, let's do it like so. We can copy this, require. Let's open this and let's use composer and let's require this, see if it starts. It should uh, take uh, about a minute or so. In the meantime, let's uh, configure our, uh, our Laravel. And in here, integration in Laravel, let's see what we need to do in our providers under the config uh, app.php okay let's copy this in our provider uh, array let's open this and in here in our config where are, where is the config config uh, app.php and right in our providers we can use this don't forget this and we need to add our alias so basically let's do this and in our alias let's use this let's save this and exit see if it's done okay it's done so uh, what we need to do next is to create a migration and add the image into our post uh, table let's uh, do it right now okay let's go over here and let's you let's say php artisan make migration ration uh, add images images to posts table okay add images to posts table and that's okay let's go into our database migration and in here and why does it say like so okay you know what I'm going to roll back wait a minute let's change the the file name rename it add image okay and also in here add image okay let's run let's see what kind of migrations we have we can migrate status like so and okay it's the correct name so in here what we need to do is uh, to create a schema of uh, in the table in the table of the uh, posts and we have a function over here function um, that's blueprint dollar table and after uh, this let's go ahead and do this one and uh, let's say dollar table we have a, a string the name will be image 
and because we don't have uh, uh, any photos uh, in the other uh, posts we need to make it nullable and uh, basically we are done I think okay like so and in here let's uh, let's do it like so copy and we want to make a drop uh, statement color statement drop column uh, the image column that we have just uh, created okay this looks fine okay we are done with this we can close this one we can go now inside our uh, our post uh, controller and start uh, using uh, the posts so in here where is it HTTP controllers post controller and in here what we need to do is to add a couple of things so uh, let's see what we need to do in our store method we need to validate uh, the image also so after this we can say img is uh, is image okay in here and after uh, this let's see we have to add uh, the image so where should we put it after the body let's make a nice uh, if statement if a uh, dollar request has has file which we called it image just right here so if it does it has a file let's open up our curly braces so let's say dollar image uh, equals to dollar request and file with the, the image IMG like so and uh, let's say the image name dollar image name will be equal to to the dollar image and uh, will make it unique by the time uh, timestamp time dot and uh, we'll concatenate it with the with this one and let's uh, go on dollar image and uh, there is a function called the uh, get clients original extension so get the uh, client original ex extension extension like so we need to save it into a location dollar location will be um, in our folders uh, in our photos uh, folder photos slash and let's uh, concatenate the image name dollar image name and we're basically almost done first let's use uh, use the facade we made use image like so and we'll use also storage use storage like so and where is it in here so image will make it make by the dollar 
image no, image and let's uh, save it save into location into dollar location like so and let's say dollar post with image equals to image name image name so in here let's find out uh, something so in here what we what we need to do okay we've ended the if statement okay we need to also uh, put it inside the, our uh, our update function so uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and do this close this in our update let's say image is an image like so and in here let's add uh, the request we can go ahead and copy this copy in our update after the body request the body and let's uh, do it like so has a file dot image the image with a request of file and the image name get original extension and uh, okay of course like so and right now that's okay um, what else should we do resize it our location image make and save into the location uh, right after the image we say dollar old photo is equal to dollar post dollar post image and uh, the image the new image will be this one and let's delete the the old image dollar no uh, storage delete the old photo or our old photo like so and uh, we should be okay okay so let's uh, migrate uh, the table the table was migrated let's see if it was uh, really added into our posts and uh, it, there you go our image uh, file and it's all now in the meanwhile after this one we need to go into our resources and views okay so uh, in our let's go into our partials dot uh, post and after the let's say the created ad we'll add uh, our uh, our uh, image so let's say uh, for instance span of uh, in here let's say image and uh, let's close it no oh. sorry the source will be let's say assets of uh, in here asset and the photos 
like so photos slash and uh, we'll add uh, the the image so dollar post image like so what else do we need in here we don't need anything else as i presume let's save this let's go into our posts and uh, create in here let's add uh, let's say before the body okay this looks fine for the body we'll say uh, what shall we say let's copy one copy and paste right here and let's uh, say change this to image errors image and uh, upload image for uh, for image okay it's not a select let's remove the select we have uh, our input upload image as an image of so and it's an input type would be file and the name will be image let's give it an id if we need it in the future of also image like so and the form control the class will be form control form control okay what else do we need we need to make it uh, multiple so uh, let's go ahead and do that multiple equals to multiple okay we are set in this part let's uh, add uh, into our form right at the top we need to add uh, a little something which is uh, ink type will be a uh, multiple multiple uh, multi part sorry multi part slash form uh, data so form data like so and we should be okay we also need uh, to create this uh, into our edit uh, uh, view so let's uh, go ahead and do this and let's copy this one so see inside of here let's copy this and in here we need to uh, basically copy it copy the the image that uh, we wanted uh, to add so in our create let's copy the image the image part it over here okay let's copy this and inside after the body or before the body you can put it wherever you want for image we have our image upload okay this looks fine let's go ahead and see what kind of uh, problems we have or anything like so let's refresh we don't have any any photos uh, in here right now but uh, let's uh, log in let's log in let's create a post and let's upload like so okay inside our photos okay before we we do this let's add uh, the folder into our public uh, directory so into our public new folder 
and we called it the uh, photos okay so that's done that should be okay in here let's try and uh, let's refresh let's make a new title our our first image slag images tags let's add a tag pizza image I've made the, this image so uh, our first image let's see if this works make post okay we can go into our slag don't see an image why don't we see an image because we see an image it works nice but we didn't add it into our uh, into our views let's go ahead and do this now we only need to do is to add it into our let's say we only want it in the front end uh, interface we can go ahead and uh, edit uh, like so after or before you can do it uh, where, wherever you want so let's an add an image uh, and the source uh, will be basically the asset so asset of uh, photos photos and uh, slash like so and the dollar post image okay this looks fine we can go ahead and uh, let's refresh let's read more and as you can see we have uh, our image in here now I know it's not looking very nicely but uh, it's uh, the the functionality works very very nicely and you can the you can uh, go ahead and uh, and uh, design it uh, whatever you want we're not working on design in this uh, specific uh, tutorial uh, but uh, i think that's it for this post and uh, i'll see you on the next time